Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I'm going to continue my look at some of my favorite Mac apps. And this week we're going to take a look at a menu bar application called Bartender 2. Now, Bartender 2 does a very specific job and it does it very well. And that's to help you clean up your menu bar. Now, for those of you that have uh, laptops, uh, you don't have a, a large desktop, you end up running out of space up here at the top on your menu bar. And so as different apps have different menu bar items, you can't keep up with it, and then pretty soon they get over here, and then the menu kind of hides the actual icons that you need when you need them, and it can really be a mess up, up here in your menu bar. Well, that's what Bartender takes care of you. It allows you to start to customize how your menu bar looks, and it does it in a really simple and great way. Uh, so Bartender 2, it's got a trial. You can download it uh, for four weeks and check it out, or you can actually uh, buy the application. I'll just click on that. So Bartender 2 is $15 to buy. And as you'll see, I think you'll see it's a pretty good deal uh, for the application. It's got all kinds of different things that it does, and I'm going to kind of give you a demonstration of it. So let me just go ahead and put this down here, and let's take a look at it. Now, Bartender is up here in the menu bar. If I just uh, click on Bartender for a minute, you notice I get this drop down with all of these different apps in here. And Bartender allowed me to set up these icons. These icons normally would sit up here on the menu bar and would just extend all the way over and start to get crowded out. So let me show you how I did that. So if I just click on this uh, preference icon here, you see I get this little gear. I get the preferences window. And this is the preferences window that's built into Bartender. And this is where all the work takes place. Now, what happens is, is bartenu, Bartender has the menu items down here on the side. And so these are all the different applications that have menu items. And then down below are all the system items that are normally displayed. And then you've got apps with settings that uh, are over here. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Uh, you can also hit this plus button right here. And you can choose an app that you want to add to the menu bar uh, as well. If there's a particular menu bar item you want to add. I'm just going to cancel that because I'm going to leave it the way it is. So let's just come up here to the top and take a look at these. So what you'll get when you click on an application is you get the actual icon and everything here, and then you choose what you want to do with the menu bar item. You can say nothing, so bartender doesn't do anything. And so like this is one password, so as a result, one password is still sitting up here. Let me just click off this for a minute so you can get an idea. So one password is still in the menu bar. If I wanted to, I could come here and choose to show it in the bartender bar but not in the menu bar, or completely hide the menu bar item so that it doesn't show anymore. So I can make a choice as to what I want to do with that. Uh, I can also choose um, the item updates. I can say show item in menu bar for five seconds. So if bartender is closed, it detects a change in the menu bar item, it's going to display it in the menu bar for the selected time. And so that comes in handy with applications, for instance, like Dropbox. And so I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go to Dropbox here for a minute and let me show you something. So if I go and put, I say show in bartender bar, not in menu bar. So if I just click on that, you'll notice that Dropbox just disappeared because it went right inside here into bartender. And you can see it's right there. But there are times when I want to know when Dropbox is updating itself. And so I might be tempted to keep it up here because I want to see when it's updating. Well, what I can do is I can say show in menu bar for however many seconds I want. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 minutes, uh, whatever it is. Let's just say, let's put, put the, the maximum up there. Let's just say 10 minutes. And that's going to show there when I make a change. So let me just show you something. I'm going to go and put something inside Dropbox, and let's see what happens. So let's just come in here. And I'll just go to, I'll just go in my downloads. I'll take this, and I'll just move it into Dropbox. Okay, so there I drop it in there. And you notice that Dropbox now appears here in my menu bar because it's showing that it's updating. And now that it's updated, it's done. Now because I put 10 minutes, after 10 minutes this is going to disappear and go right back inside Bartender. Let me just close that down. And so it's really nice because you can hide things until you actually need to see them. And so depending on the application you're using, that's how you could set that up and start to make that work. So that's how that works. You just go through and you just choose uh, apps that you want to put inside that menu bar. And so if I just uh, go here and un uncheck this, now the Dropbox disappeared and went back inside there. And so maybe what I don't want to do is instead of 10 minutes, maybe I want to put a lower amount. It just depends on how big of the fi of files that you're updating. So I'll go ahead and recheck that so it happens in the future. So let's say I'm looking here now and I don't want to have, uh, let's say, this... Uh, icon right right here. I don't want to have this uh, forklift icon. If I just come over here 
and I say show in the menu bar, there it disappears. So I can just continue to clean up my menu bar there and always have access to it. Now, in the general settings here, I can also choose to launch Bartender at login, which I would highly recommend so that it automatically shows up and then adds all your menu bar items into it uh, so that you don't have to keep redoing it every time or wait until you launch Bartender. Now, I can choose at launch to show the bar so that it will actually show the bar below here, or I can uh, choose not to, so I'm not going to have it automatically show that. It's okay if it just shows up here. I can have the bar auto-hide so that it toggles off so that you know, when it's here and I click off of it, then it's going to, and off of it like this, it'll auto hide on its own. So I can set it up that way or not. Uh, then clicking on Bartender Will, and I can have it open the bar, display all the items in the menu bar, expand the menu bar to keep the items hidden, or display bartender items in the menu bar itself. So it all depends on how I want to do that. So for instance, if I say display all items in the menu bar, you can see that it then brings them all up just like this so that they're all showing in the menu bar itself until I click off of it and then they hide. I can say expand uh, menu bar and keep the items hidden. And see, I used to go like this and it expands the menu bar but all my items stay hidden. Uh, I don't want to do that. I can display the items in the menu bar when I click on it. And so there they are all back and then they get hidden. So there's a bunch of different ways I can customize it. I'm just going to have the bartender bar because I like that underneath there. Now, if I go to Appearance, I can choose to make the menu bar icon visible or invisible. Now, if I make it invisible, then I would have to access it with hotkeys. So if I wanted to enter a hotkey here, I could enter one. So let's say I say um, Shift-Command, I'll say Shift-Command-B, and that's going to launch my uh, icon there. So anytime I hit Shift-Command-B, it's going to show the menu bar just like that. Okay, now that's going to come in handy over here because if I make it un invisible, so now you can't see it here, but I still hit Shift Command B, then the menu bar will show up all by itself. And the nice thing about this menu bar too is that then I can get access to all of this stuff and it just shows up for me. Uh, I like it visible because I like to see the icon up there. Now I can choose whatever kind of icon I want. It gives me a number of icons to choose from. And I can even choose my own image if I want to add one in there. So I can kind of make the menu bar look the way I want it to look. And then I can reset the menu bar location so that uh, it's going to make it uh, show up underneath. And then I can insert a gap when no notification uh, center is hidden. That's if I had it on this side over here. I might I'd put a gap in there so it wasn't wasn't on top of it. So again, just uh, just some appearance pieces that let me uh, kind of show how I want it to look. Again, with hotkeys, I can show the full menu bar here, show all items in the menu bar, or have this show up like I showed you. Now in advance, I can disable the search nav in navigation. And so let me show you what that means. So if I just come up here, and let's say I've got a ton of items there, but I want to search for, let's say, Backblaze, for instance. If I just start typing, just like that, I hit the B, you can see Backblaze shows up. Or, and you can see the little search bar there, if I want to say Clean My Mac, see there, Clean My Mac shows up. Uh, or uh, Dropbox. There's Dropbox. So there's a nice search bar that drops down too. So if you've got a lot of things up here, uh, you have the option of being able to search for those items as well. And so it, uh, it, is, it is nice that it lets you do that. And if I just grab it, I can also move this menu bar wherever I would prefer for it to display when I click on it. So if I like it centered, maybe I like it more in the middle like that, now when I click on it, it's going to drop down where I want it to be. I can always drag it back to where I want it here, or if I don't remember and I want to put it back, if I just go back to Appearance here and say Reset Bartender Location, it's going to put it right back where I need it to be. So that gives you an idea of how a Bartender works. Again, it's a really a great application, a great one for organizing your items. The nice thing, too, is when you have Bartender here, if I just hold down the uh, Command key, I can drag any of these icons around up here that I want to. So I can really organize the entire menu bar however I want so I can put all my stuff over here. Because as you know, on a Mac, a lot of times, depending on when applications launch, depends the order in which they show up up here. And so that's not always convenient. So with Bartender, we're just holding down the command uh, command key, I can drag different elements around and just change the order of them and put them wherever I want to have them set up. So again, Bartender is a great application. It's well worth uh, well worth the price. And especially if you've got a laptop, one of those MacBooks or something like that, and you're running out of menu bar space, I would highly recommend getting a copy of this because it's been a great application for me. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. 
If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.